This is the daily chart of Chevron Texaco. I'm using the Charles Schwab Street Smart Pro. I normally like to show you the Warden Telechart daily chart, but that is somehow not loading up on this computer. But I'll get that fixed in the next couple days. What I'm looking here is a rebound in the several of the large oil stocks like Chevron, ConocoPhillips, and British Petroleum. What I like here is the fact that it's a very unusual for an oil stock to drop this quickly and so fast and it's doing it on an accelerated way with the volume increasing. I also know that oil won't stay down for too long. I'm expecting some sort of rebound tomorrow on this. So here's the daily chart on it. This is the three minute chart for today. Obviously you see the bottom of the low today was right here just under eighty four dollars and it's probably going to gap up probably eighty six and a quarter tomorrow I'm, I'm totally guessing based on the fact that Merrill Lynch gave out some awful earnings reports after the market closed so we're probably going to see the financial stocks do a reversal on the downside and the oil stocks start to rebound let's take a look at the next stock British Petroleum Let's go to the back to the daily chart, and we see a similar type of pattern, maybe not as good as the Chevron. Let's look at ConocoPhillips, and this is the kind of chart pattern I like. I think Chevron looks like the best, and we'll show you the XOI. Let me see if I've got that right. Okay, this is the American Stock Exchange Oil Index, and you see the same pattern. Look at your indicators here. The McD's at the bottom. You see the stochastics at the bottom. I use these indicators first to enter a position. Then after I open that stock position, in this case a long, then I look at the moving averages after I open that position. This is DR Horton, which is a housing stock. We've had several days up. It came from a low of 894 only to up three, two and a half to three dollars. And this is the one of the three housing stocks that I'm looking at as a just as on my watch list for a possible short. My guess is that this sells off to possibly a lower low. And when I'm saying the low there is 890. If you look at my crosshair right there is 890. I'll do that again. And this would be more of an intermediate term short that I'll hold but it needs to go up a little bit more. It may not even become a, a tradable idea. I'd really like to see it uh, go up one more day, but I don't think it will now. That Merrill Lynch has uh, come out with some bad earnings, and that'll pull this stock down, even though it's in the housing stock. Here's CTX. Not a chart I really think that shows much, except that it does show me CTX is just an awfully weak stock. Let's look at KBH, very similar to the DHI stock chart. These are bread and butter, nothing near as good as what I showed you on the financials. Let's look at the financials. Here's Wells Fargo. This may not look like much to you, but if you say $20.30 there to hit three days ago and today's high of $28.71, that gives us a over a 40% gain in this Wells Fargo in the last three days. BAC, that's up 43.7% in the last three days. And let's look at JP Morgan Chase, is up 39.5% in the last three days. Now, I think there's possibly a short opportunity here, and we'll look at that. I'll look at I'll just play that by ear. I'll just trade what I see, not what I expect, and that rule will keep you out of trouble. Good night and we'll talk to you this weekend.